the Janissaries were the elite infantry units of the Ottoman Empire, who served as the Sultan's household troops and personal guards. They were the first modern standing army in Europe and one of the first to use firearms effectively in warfare. They played a crucial role in the expansion and consolidation of the Ottoman power from the 14th to the 18th centuries. The Janissaries were established by Sultan Murad I around 1380 as a way to create a loyal and professional army that was not dependent on the feudal system of the Turkish nobility. The word Janissary means new soldier in Turkish and reflects their origin as Christian youths who were taken from their families in the Balkan provinces, converted to Islam and trained as soldiers. This system of recruitment was known as Dev Shirme or Child Levy and was practiced until the 17th century. The Dev Shirme system ensured that the Janissaries were completely devoted to the Sultan, who was their only master and benefactor. They were forbidden to marry, own property, or engage in any other occupation. They lived in barracks and followed a strict code of discipline and order. The training of the Janissaries was rigorous and comprehensive, encompassing both military and intellectual education. The recruits underwent intense physical training, honing their skills in archery, horseback riding, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Additionally, they received education in literature, science, and religion, making them well-rounded individuals capable of serving not only as warriors, but also as administrators. Discipline within the Janissary Corps was maintained through a strict code of conduct. Disobedience and dissent were severely punished, and the Janissaries were expected to demonstrate unwavering loyalty to the Sultan and the Ottoman state. This discipline contributed to the effectiveness of the Janissaries on the battlefield and their reliability in times of political unrest. The Janissaries were organized in a hierarchical structure that reflected their military and administrative functions within the Ottoman Empire. At the top of the hierarchy was the Janissary Corps commander, known as the Aga. Beneath him were the Janissary officers, or Ojakbashi, the Janissaries were further divided into ordas, or regiments, each led by a bolikbashi. This organizational structure allowed for efficient command and control, enabling the Janissaries to operate as a disciplined and cohesive military force. The Janissaries were known for their skill and bravery in battle, as well as their adaptability and innovation in weaponry. They started as archers and crossbowmen, but soon adopted firearms such as muskets and cannons, which gave them an edge over their enemies. They also used swords, daggers, axes, and maces for close combat. They wore distinctive uniforms, consisting of a red felt cap, a white caftan, a blue or green sash, and baggy trousers. They also carried a wooden spoon, which symbolized their fraternity and loyalty. The Janissaries were instrumental in the Ottoman conquests of the Balkans, Anatolia, the Middle East, and North Africa. They fought in many famous battles and sieges, such as Kosovo, Nicopolis, Ankara, Varna, Constantinople, Chaldiran, Mohach, Vienna, and Malta. They also served as garrison troops and police forces in the Ottoman provinces and the capital, Istanbul. They enjoyed many privileges and honors, such as high salaries, pensions, and tax exemptions. However, over time, the Janissaries became corrupted and decadent, losing their military spirit and discipline. They started to marry, have families, and engage in trade and crafts, becoming more like civilians than soldiers. They also became involved in politics and palace intrigues, often overthrowing or assassinating sultans who tried to reform or limit their power. They resisted any change or modernization in the Ottoman army and became a burden and a threat to the empire. The Janissaries met their end in 1826 when Sultan Mahmud II decided to abolish them and create a new army called the nizam e jadid or New Order. He provoked the Janissaries to revolt and then ordered his loyal troops to attack and massacre them in their barracks. This event is known as the Auspicious Incident and marked the end of an era in Ottoman history. 
The legacy of the Janissaries is complex and multifaceted. On one hand, they are remembered as a symbol of the Ottoman military's might and resilience, contributing significantly to the empire's expansion and longevity. On the other hand, their role in palace politics and their resistance to reform highlight the challenges of managing a powerful military institution within a monarchical system. The decline of the Janissaries marked a turning point in Ottoman history, symbolizing the empire's struggle to adapt to the changing geopolitical landscape. Despite their dissolution, the legacy of the Janissaries endures in the annals of history, reminding us of the intricate interplay between military institutions, social structures, and political dynamics within empires.